Alrighty, in this video, I just want to import the foundation and the wall model and textures. So in the description, there'll be a download link to a compressed document, extract it to wherever you like. And when you do, you'll have two folders, foundation and wall. So we're going to go ahead and bring those both into Unreal Engine. So let's go to our content browser here and let's go ahead and just make, we can do it under content. We'll make a new folder. Let's do new folder. I'm going to call it tutorial. Inside of that, I want to make another one called Assets. Now inside of Assets, I want to drag both Foundation and Wall directly in and simply, un or simply import all. All right, let's go ahead and check those. Let's check the Foundation first. I haven't actually checked to make sure the collision's correct. Let's see, how can I view it? Um... All right, so our foundation's fine for the collision. And our wall should have been generated for us, which it has. So that looks correct to me. All righty, so let's go ahead and set up the textures themselves. So starting with the foundation, if we load up M underscore foundation, press control space, and drag our three textures right in. But before we do that, we actually want to load up our mix map. Load that up, go to sRGB and uncheck it, press save, and then we can continue. So we delete that parameter inside of the material, drag our three textures in. So here we have the normal, there's our mix map, and there's our albedo. So we connect our albedo to base color, normal to normal, and then for the mix map, red to occlusion, green to roughness, and blue to metallic. Then we go ahead and hit save. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but for the wall. So let's open up our wall. Textures. Open the mix map. Uncheck sRGB. Same thing as always. And then drag our three textures right on in. Same exact thing. Albedo to base. Normal to normal. Red to occlusion. Green to roughness. And blue to metallic. Okay, once we have those, we can view our wall. That looks fine to me. And view, whoops, that is the material, our foundation, which also looks fine to me. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we save all, and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and quickly go to our assets, or sorry, our BP building. We're going to drag that into our tutorial folder. I'm actually going to delete that base blueprint. And inside of here, for the foundation instance mesh, I'm just going to set this to be the foundation. So that's just for the time being, but I want to go ahead and set that. And it has no texture applied to it, so let's click that. All right, M underscore foundation. We can actually drop it down a good bit. Still nothing. Why would there be no texture? Okay, let's try dragging it out into the world itself. That looks correct to me. But my guess, oop, my food's done. So my guess is, for whatever reason, it's not pulling from it. So let's try any other material. Okay, that's still not working, so we have an issue elsewhere. So I want to dig into that and try to figure out exactly what's going on. Alrighty, so from a quick Google search, it said in our material, we had to check with it to be used in static meshes. So if we go to our material, we have the option for used with instant static meshes. Make sure we check that. Now when we hit play, they have the appropriate textures. Even though I have collision under that, we should be able to walk under that. But anyways, we want to do that for there. And same thing for the wall. Let's do that real quick. Search for instance. Check it, save it, and we are good to go. Alrighty, so we now have those imported as well as our wall. So we have kind of the basics that we can work with to start actually setting up the building portion. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos. If you have any questions, anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. I'll see you in the next video.